Just baby, it's cold outside. Today we're going to be looking at the Mayana's personal heater, fan, light, and it even has a charger. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, some other household items. Once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I think it's a lot of fun. If that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. In this video, I'm actually going to compare this personal heater to the As Seen on TV Handy Heater. This is a review I did not too long ago. That product's been out for a little while, but they're in the same price point and I'd like to see how they work out. So this heater can be purchased at, on Amazon. It's about 25 bucks, which isn't too expensive. It's in the similar price point as this. I think this is actually a little bit more of the handy heater, but let's unbox it just to see what we get for $25. Directions, I'll look at those later. Ooh, nothing in the box. So it has an LED light on the top, that's cool. All right, here's what it looks like. Just a standard little personal heater. Um, I'm told it has a USB charging point port and they say it's a 3.0, so it's for fast charging. Um, this has a fan feature, I'm told, uh, a heater feature. It has this cool light on the top. So you know what, 25 bucks, let's put it to action and see if it really can compete with another heater or what? Directions are pretty basic. So remember on the handy heater how I could sort of set a temperature setting in the room? Well on this one I cannot. I really just have an on off switch. So if I click it once it'll turn the heater on. If I click it a second time it'll turn the fan part on. If I do it a third time it'll turn it off. So that is a little different that I can't set my own personal temperature gauge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go plug this into the bathroom just where my handy heater is and see how long it takes to raise the temperature of that room. So this is where I normally keep the handy heater but I'm going to unplug it here. And we're going to plug in this personal ceramic heater. All right on the side I have an on off button Okay, so let's just turn the unit on. Let me see how you see that little light that just turned on there. I don't know if you can see it, but that just tells me that it turned on. All right, so there are a few features I wanted to show before we heat. I've got this light function. So I click the button, the light turns on, which that's cool. Click it again, it gets dimmer, and then dimmer yet. And then all of a sudden it goes, whoop, switch sides. There you go. That's kind of cool. Um, I think that this is an oscillating feature, but let me work, wait till I turn it on to see. So with the red light on, one button, it's supposed to start the heat. Right now I have it at 64 degrees in here, and technically both of these are actually in the room. I have a fob across the room which is reading this one, and this is this unit itself. I just want to see what the temperature change would be. So let's turn it on. And that's starting the heat. You even turn a little oscillator on there. That's kind of cool. So let's check back to see how long it takes us to raise this, about four or five degrees. Um, we'll see what it does. I would love to hear from you. Do you use a personal heater, either the handy heater or other types? Let me know if you use one. Where do you use it? Is it in your room? Is it in your kitchen? Is it in your living room? Maybe even in your office. Let me know in the comment section below. I look forward to reading them. It's been 20 minutes, and as you can see from this thermostat here, the thermostat in the room is 68 degrees, or the temperature I mean, and that's from a fob across the room. This unit itself is reading at 66, and that's because it's been on the top of here. So in about 20 minutes, I've raised the actual temperature of the room by about 4 degrees. That's pretty impressive. The only disadvantage I see is it's not going to auto shut off. So once I get to this temperature, I'm going to have to turn it off myself. So let's look at that a little bit. So to turn it off, well, I'm going to go to cool. So I hit, hit this two times. See how, oops, see how I turned the light to blue? Three times shuts it off. Well, I guess three times didn't shut it off. But I can also shut it off from the switch down here. And that's how you power it off. Now, they do recommend only powering it off when you're going to unplug it from the switch on the side. Let's go and talk about some of the other features. 
we've been taking a look at the Myonis personal heater or ceramic heater and comparing it a little bit to the handy heater. So let's just talk about wattage. So this one boasts 500 watts of heating power. So clearly this one's going to heat up quicker and probably be a little warmer. And this one was at 350 watts. The difference is this one has well, on the timer, I can turn it off after a period of time, and also a temperature regulator where it shuts off by itself. That's a major disadvantage of this one, where this just runs and runs hot, and the temperature will just keep increasing, increasing, increasing until you shut it off. So that's something you should note. Even though I don't think it's a, it's a safe choice to let something run unattended, um, this one you definitely need to be able to keep an eye on. A couple cool things. One, I love the light. So I told you about the, the three different levels of lights. Oh, I gotta turn it on. I told you about the three different levels of lights, right? So, you know, it's high, then dim, then dimmer, but then also it switches here. They actually call this night light. So if you want to have this in your room, um, so that way it's not a, an abrasive light and you can sort of just still see some light. That's kind of cool. I like that feature. Um, I like that it oscillates. I actually like that it has this little charging port here in the back um, so you can turn it on. Now, the unit has to be on with the on-off switch, but not running the fan, but look, just quick, simple charge. I think that's kind of neat, right? Because a lot of times if we plug this thing in, we don't have a handy USB port around. Now I will say the box of this thing says, let's see if I can find it. The box says it's fast charge 3.0, which is something I didn't know they even came out with yet. But the directions say 2.0. So splitting hair is sure, but I wanted you to know the difference. Now I never could get it to shut off with this. You're supposed to be able to hit it once for heat, two times for cool, three times for off. I can never get it to shut off, so I, I ended up just shutting it off with this piece right here. Um, either way, that's that's how I worked it. They do recommend that you pop the back off here every once in a while and vacuum this out if it gets dirty. Definitely don't do it when it's hot, um, but they say if you're using it regular, um, Make sure you vacuum it out. Also, keep hands and fingers away from inside here because it will get hot. So they also said, you know what? Keep this away from water. They said, don't wash it with water. Don't let water drip on it. Don't use it in areas where you're going to take a shower or toilets or sinks. So I guess that's bathrooms. Um, they really are trying to protect against the electrical shock part. Um, so that's something that you should know. If I were to do a buy or deny with this, you know what? It's $25, and if you need a personal heater, this one has a lot of functions. Absolutely. I think it's a good price point. It does a good job. There are a few cons, um, but I think overall it's a good unit. I like the way it looks, and if you compare it to the handy heater, they're all about similar sizes. Um, of course, this one's a little bigger, but nonetheless, sure, absolutely. It's a cool little tool to have. Um, this was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Sticking around for my review of this four in one personal heater. Four things, heater, fan, light, and charger, or port for your phone or tablet or whatnot to charge. Um, and that brings me to this part. Not too long ago, I did a review of these magnetic chargers. It was an As Seen on Facebook product. I'm gonna link the video right up here, but make sure you're using the YouTube app and you're logged in. Otherwise, it's going to be looking like I'm pointing to the air and I'm going to look kind of crazy. So make sure you're logged in and click this link right up here and I will see you over that magnetic charger review. See you there.